Hey guys, so I got home yesterday around like 11, 30, 12 o'clock uh, at night uh, from Belfast in Northern Ireland and all that. And if I would have made a video, it would look like this. So I'm going to take you on a journey of what I saw in Belfast, Northern Ireland. I'm going to focus a little bit more on just the Northern Ireland part uh, on the trip that we took. But first, I want to say I am making my own dough uh, for a pizza. See, look, my own dough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. My own dough. Uh, making a pizza. And so this video is being filmed while this dough is rising. And then I'm going to go eat pizza. Crunchy cheesecake. I mean, need I say more? So the black taxi tour was really awesome and the main thing I want to show you is this wall. Now this wall is put up to separate the Protestants from the Catholics and it is still up today. There's some of the parts are still up today and there's even gates that don't allow people to go into the different areas of town at night that are still in use today. Now this church is kind of cool. I just thought I'd take a picture of it uh, getting on the bus to head out to the causeway. First stop was a castle. Now I'm not really sure what this castle is or who it was for or what it did. All I know is that I went inside and it was really cool inside, but I wasn't supposed to go in without pain, apparently, and I ended up getting kicked out of the castle. Yeah. Back on the bus, we drove through a lot of different areas, mainly either countryside with beautiful green and lush, or we drove through coastal areas, which a lot of it was coast. And something that I learned, which I thought was absolutely amazing, was a lot of the Northern Ireland is actually shaped by glaciers. Uh, back in the Ice Age, the glaciers actually shaped all of these hills and all of the areas. And I thought that was really, really cool. We did see a couple of rainbows, which was kind of cool. We drove by this lake and we learned that after a hard rain, it fills up completely. And within two to three hours, it actually completely drains all naturally. And we just happened to ride by it at the right time. Now, the rope bridge, which was tons of fun. Now, to get to the rope bridge, we had to walk through the areas of the big grassy areas, we had coastal areas, and the pictures were absolutely stunning. I mean, I had to take time to cheese, obviously. But like I said, the path was great. I was astounded by the just sheer lush greenness everywhere. And the skies at that point were actually really good. It wasn't raining yet. But overall, like, the scenery is amazing. Now, on the rope bridge... Yep, no stopping on the bridge for photographs. All right. On the bridge, keep moving, okay? Sounds good. All right, we're going across. Look. somebody to take a group photo of us and Tatiana decided she was going to show off on the way back across the bridge we came to the windiest spot that I've ever been to in my entire life like seriously windy we got to the causeway now the causeway was beautiful now it was getting dark uh, and it was starting to rain uh, pretty heavily so I didn't get that many photos and we didn't get to go around that much but it was absolutely amazing and here you see a group picture of us. Now you see Lisa was taking a picture with Tatiana's camera and she accidentally dropped the lens cap over the edge. So we had to scale down and go to the bottom to find the lens cap. And I actually found it. And this is my, oh my god, it's so cold and windy. I just want to curl up in a ball pose. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of my pictures and videos of the trip. I'm going to go put this dough in the oven and eat a pizza because I'm really excited about that. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to uh, Facebook, Twitter, subscribe, and share it if you can. I really appreciate it. And I'll check you guys later.